Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm gonna to be showing you guys uh, the molds that we use and the different kinds of molds that you can use for the breakable hearts or for chocolate covered Oreos or for chocolate strawberries or just accents inside of your treat box. Um, we're gonna be using a different couple one. So they, these are chocolate molds. They're for chocolate. These are plastic, they're hard. Uh, this is a different kind of font, and I ha we have two different kinds of lettering, so we'll do both today and show you guys the difference in that one. And then we also have a silicone mold. So this one, the letters are a little bit smaller, and it just says happy birthday. Um, they do have a another one with, I think with all the letters, so that we can create one, but we just got this one. Um, and then you have little hearts here, which is perfect for Valentine's Day or Mother's Day or I love you, anniversaries, proposals, whatever. So there's that. And then these are super cute and my favorite, they're mini chocolate bars. So like we use these for a lot of the things that we have. Um, you can actually use this for gum paste mold, fondant mold, um, it's very versatile. So there's that. And then this little guy is a butterfly mold that we use, that we have. And we'll be showing you guys, and I'll be showing you guys how we use this. Super cool, super easy. So everything here was found at Crafty Cake Shop. They have way more molds than what we have here. Um, go ahead and check them out. If you guys are interested in getting molds, they have both the plastic ones, the hard plastic and the silicone, and it's just a ton more. And that shop is amazing. Go check it out. All right, well, let's get into the video. All right, so these are the molds that I'm gonna be using today. Um, I think I'm gonna do like a happy Mother's Day type of thing with this one because it's a little bit smaller so you can fit more on the heart. These ones are a little bit bigger. So I think I'm just gonna do like, I love you. And then we'll do a couple of these and then the butterfly. The butterfly I'll do first because it's super cool. So I got pink right here. So once you melt the chocolate, put it into a bag. You can also use like a Ziploc, the Ziploc bag. Just so happened I had a bunch of these pastry bags lying around. And you wanna fill all of the crevices that there are in here and you don't want to fill it too much. Okay, get these. Okay, when you filled it, you just smack it down so it gets nice and flat. But then you're also going to open up the mold so it gets through the cracks because the butterflies are very detailed. And a lot of these molds that are like this, the silicone molds are very detailed. So you want to make sure you get all the detail as much as you can. I mean, not every one's going to be perfect, but oh yeah, you can see a little air bubble in there. Shake it around, make sure it gets into all the little things. And you can see it's like nice and flat. Oh, don't want to do that. All right, nice and flat. Um, throw this in the fridge and wait for it to get a little hard. Okay, so the same rules apply. I'll do the chocolate one. The same rules apply for these as well. You just fill it in. And same thing, you just tap it down till it gets flat. You can clean up the edges if you want to. It's not a big deal if you leave it a little bit over, but you want it as flat as possible. Again, it's not that big of a deal. We're just gonna do two for this video and throw that in the fridge and wait a few minutes. All right, so I'm just gonna fill these molds up. Uh, happy Mother's Day and I love you. So the same thing like the silicone mold, you don't want to overfill it. Cause that is cute. Okay, so when you're done filling it up, tap it down flat. 
just like you do with the silicone molds. Okay. And so there might be a little bit of running. It's okay if it overflows. It, it's okay. You just don't want it huge. Um, you want to try to get it as leveled as possible. Now we're going to do the same thing with this. Oh, wait. <gasps> oh, I messed up. Uh -huh. This one was supposed to be I love you. And the other one was supposed to be Happy Mother's Day. Okay. So scratch that. down so it gets evenly distributed okay so let me fill more letters with this one okay so the chocolate started getting a little bit harder on me um, the eight, you can see it's starting to pump up. But it's all right, for the purpose of this video, we'll just keep going. I need to stick these in the fridge. All right, so now that the butterfly mold and everything has gotten hard in the fridge, we're going to open it. So you just separate the sides. And once you have the whole thing separated, you just kind of pop it out. And there it is. So that is the butterfly with the butterfly mold. Okay, so now do the same thing with the chocolate. These ones are actually a lot easier. You just literally pop them off. And there you go. How cute are they? Little miniature candies. Super cute. Okay. All right, so this is a little bit different because it's a plastic mold, but it should still be easy, like the plastic one. I mean, like the, the silicone. So you just pop it out. So these letters are rounded. You can see they're a little bit rounded, so they're super cute, but they're a lot bigger. So these ones just fall right out. The other ones are a little bit trickier um, to try and get out. I think because they're so deep. Those ones are really thick. But they're small, but they're thick. These ones are thin, but they're, you know, big. So I'm gonna have to do one more E. I'll throw that H back in there. I mean, oh, I don't have to do another E. <laughs> I have to do another O. That's what I meant. Another O. My goodness. Okay. But how cute. Look. You can just do that. Okay, so I'm gonna do another O off camera and get that done. Let's see if we can take this out. Because this 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 bugger's a little bit harder. Like I said, if you guys can see, it's a lot thicker than the other one. Oh, okay. Wow, the O just fell out. Okay, yeah, look, the chocolate has started getting cold on me. And that's what happens when it does that. The L doesn't want to come out. We're gonna leave it in there because we don't really need the L. Anyways, let's see what I got so far. I need to make another P, Y, H, and an A. I might make another D, because that one's kind of ugly. And then, whoops, and then we'll be right back. Okay, for this mold, um, it's very similar. Actually, it's the same with like the chocolate bar one, so I just, I didn't film this one. I didn't um, put any mold or chocolate in this mold. But yeah, there you go. All right, so after all of the letters have been popped out, you, play, you should just place it on your chocolate um, heart just to see where it's gonna go. I, you know, it's gonna fall off, so you can't do that. And then you use any chocolate you have, multiple chocolate. Since I have the pink still available, I'm just gonna use pink. 
as your glue. Just put a little bit. What I should have done was drizzle it right here before I put on the letters, but that's all right. I'm gonna do a small little drizzle right now. And then we can just plop this. So some people, you can, you can put sprinkles on it. I'm just gonna keep it simple. And there you have it. Simple, but effective. You can see these word, these letters work a lot better when you, you have a lot more um, to put on because they're smaller. And like I said, you could do so much more sprinkles, some uh, glitter on it. So these are actually what we use. They're uh, from Sugar Art. They're called Diamond Dust. So this is white diamond, light pink. Um, you just open it and you can just like sprinkle it around, dab it on, and it just gives a little, like a nice touch to your hearts. I'm not gonna do that just for this video to make it plain and simple. Um, we also do this for the chocolate covered strawberries and all that other fun stuff. All right, and this is the other mold. I'm not gonna glue the letters on to here, but you can see that the words, the letters are a lot bigger on here. So maybe this one, you can even like make it cheesy and just put like, I love, and then, I don't know, make another U here. Something simple, but yeah, so that's that one. All right, that was it for our video today. Hope you guys enjoyed watching and hopefully you learned something. Um, be sure to check out our last video where we smash these hearts and compare the difference between the uh, two heart molds. I will have everything that we use down in the description box below. So be sure to check it out and head over to craftycakeshop.com for all your baking needs. They literally have everything and anything that you could think of. Um, just let them know that Satan Summer sent you. Uh, let us know in the comments if there's anything specific that you want to see or if you have any questions. We'll definitely be doing more videos like this in the future, so we are open to any suggestions. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already and hit that notification bell so you're notified when we post our videos. Um, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye.